this is Ozzy Griffin doing a response to the textual comments uh, from Sexual Futurist on my recent video uh, criticizing the HPV vaccine. Now, they said that for profit companies invest a lot of, are, are using a good motive to do a lot of work and they reinvest a lot of their profit into researching cures and uh, treatments for new diseases. That is true. I'm not going to argue with that. However, if I was going to argue with something, and I am, it is not whether they work or not. What I'm going to say is there are a slew of people in the alternative health community who will tell you repeatedly, loudly, that uh, certain treatments from things like hemp plants, you know, the breeds that you can't smoke, uh, and there, that's the majority of them. These hemp plants can be used with their seeds, their oils, and a few other things to create a healthy, stable uh, food source and, in some cases, emergency treatment for some diseases that would cure, cure things. In some cases, people have alleged certain types of cancers can be cured with hemp oil. It would give you a better diet, which would probably... Uh, take care of a lot of uh, health problems that result later in life if you implement it early enough. And they also say that it's the government, uh, under the, the guidance of uh, large pharmaceutical corporations and a few others, that keep this sort of thing illegal. And that's not even getting into the energy work that uh, people like Royal Raymond Rife were working on that had incredibly promising, uh, promising implications. All I'm saying here is, in a company that is mandated by law to make a profit, eventually the most profit that can be made, which is always a desirable outcome, must be achieved by rigging the game. I have seen people do work without money being involved. I have seen on a shoestring budget, uh, or even just volunteering resources and supplies and man hours, People have done amazing things. There was a great example. Uh, I know this isn't necessarily going to go over well with people. However, it is true. When the um, ATF, the Al Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, burned down the Branch Davidians complex and slaughtered the people in Waco, uh, it was a community effort uh, of people uh, who got together, found the resources, and with a little good press, uh, everyone chipped in, and rebuilt the church with fireproofing, I might add. And they did that not for money, not for glory, a little good publicity, hey, that never hurt, and basically did it to give them a sense of value. You say work doesn't achieve, doesn't get done without money being involved. I say it is not money. I say it is value. These people valued the feeling they get, they got from rebuilding that church. And it was, some of it was a way to get back at the ATF. You know, there was a motto actually around the construction site. You burn it, we rebuild it. And that's entirely the point. People... <coughs> sorry. People have a great deal of willpower and a great deal of passion and energy if you know how to access it. And a little bit of righteousness never hurt. So... The only kind of work, if you know, the only, if the only kind of work you know comes from for-profit corporations, then something like you burn it, we build it, um, doesn't really make, we rebuild it, doesn't really make sense to you. It makes sense to me. And it's not out of spite, it's not out of anger, it's, com it's coming from a place where people want to do better. So... In a society where we live longer and have to use more pharmaceuticals to fight off more ailments, I can't help myself from thinking 
are we really getting good advice from people whose biggest profit motive is to keep us at once alive and sick? I don't think so. As long as we're alive, we're treatable. As long as we're treatable, there's a profit motive. And the more people you can have alive and treatable, the more profit you can make. This may explain why companies like Pfizer uh, probably don't promote the fact that there are long-term negative uh, impacts to your health from using Viagra. I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. I hope this has given you some food for thought.